And notice that uh, npm is used here in this React project. And this project is basically front-end application that is running in the web browser. And that means that npm is not just back-end technology like many developers might think. It is used in different front-end frameworks like React, Vue or Angular. And if you go, for example, to code Sandbox.io, here you could play with different front-end and back-end technologies and you could very quickly create different sandboxes. And here let's create some project by clicking Create Sandbox and selecting here one of the official templates. And let me select New 3 template, this one. Let's click on it. And new project will be created. And notice that in this project there is also package the JSON file. And it is very familiar to you. It has script section, it has dependency section and so on. And that's what I just told you. NPM with packages is utilized for different kinds of applications. For front-end and back-end applications. But it is installed along with Node.js. By the way, please notice that at code sandbox.io you will not find Node modules folder, but of course it must be present in any project like we observed when we created React project locally on our computers. Now one more thing left, I want to explain to you what is the difference between dependencies and dev dependencies. These are two sections that you see, for example, in this particular project, that is Vue 3 project. So, dev dependencies are dependencies that are required only during development process. For example, ESLint, that is linter, is needed only for development. Production version of this particular application does not require ESLint. Same applies to Babel ESLint or those dependencies. That's why if you are about to use particular dependency or dependencies only during development process, you need to install those dependencies as development dependencies. And for that you need to use dash "-d flag when you install specific dependency using npm install command. In such case, npm will create such section in the package.json file and list newly installed dependencies there. And difference here between this section and this section is that uh, when, for example, any other applications depend on this application, and for example, this application is listed as package at npm.js, then during installation of this dependency, only those two dependencies will be installed along with it. For example, let's go to express package here and scroll up and go to dependency section. And in this section you'll find list of dependencies, there are 30 of them, we already looked at this list. And there is also list of dev dependencies of this particular package, express. And there are such packages as Mocha, Morgan or Multiparty. And when we installed express as dependency of our first project in this crash course, those dev dependencies were not installed. Let's verify that and let's search, for example, for Mocha package in our Express application. Let's go back to VS Code and let me switch to Express project here. So here is index.js file where I created basic Express application. And uh, let's expand node modules folder and search for Mocha package here. Let's scroll a bit down. It should be somewhere here, but it is absent here in this list. And that's proof of what I just said to you. Development dependencies are not installed, but those dependencies that are listed under dependencies section are installed, of course. Great, that's the difference between development dependencies and dependencies.